Welcome to the Researcher YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and in this video I will show you a very convenient way to have user declare equations. In the past, I have been in the situation of writing functions where I needed the possibility of changing the equations that I was using. In many languages, it is possible to use parsers, but in the case of Modelica, I was not so sure about it. So, I started digging and I found that there are a couple of options for it directly in the Modelica standard library. This is very convenient because now I can have a component that I can reuse and that allows the user to write their own equations. We start by creating, for example, a model. You can try with other options such as a block, but for this example it is enough. So we start by defining the user equation that we will store as a string but defined as a parameter so we can change it later on when we reduce this component then I have a real variable x this variable is the, the one we will use as an input a numerical input for our component in this case I simply equal it to the time. Next, I define a variable called y, but I define it as a string. This variable is an auxiliary variable that will ask to store the equation to obtain its numerical value. And finally, a variable called z, which is real, and it will be the output or the result when I compute the equation depending on the actual numerical values. In the equation section, as I said, I equal x to time, so it changes during the simulation. And here is where I do the little trick. First, for the y variable, which as I said is an auxiliary variable, we use this function which is available in the Modelica standard library. Inside the utilities package. So I will not go through all the code. You can read the information and the description of it in a documentation browser. But basically, three arguments for this function. First, the user equation, which needs to be a string, comes from here, which is the, our parameter. Then, what we want to replace in that equation, in this case it's A, and finally, what we will have as a replacement for A. In this case, it will be the value of X, but I'm using the function string that makes the numerical value of our variable X become a string. So we can replace everything and work only with strings. Then the output of y, we will feed it to this function that needs only one argument. Again, inside the Modelica standard library, inside utilities, but in this case, inside the examples. So again, we open the class and you see that the code is a bit long. So for that reason, I'm not going to go through it. You can go to the documentation browser again and read what is available or allowed in this function. The following operations are supported. You can see that we can use pi, logarithms, uh, the exponential functions, arc cosines, cosines, plus, minus, and so on. 
So now with this component that I have over here, we create another model. We simply drag and drop our parsing strings component. And you can see that the equation that we defined before, it's already defined, but we can replace it just by writing our own equation. like this and then we can simulate and then once we have simulated you can see that the parameter user equation it has our equation here x which represents the time so it's easier to see the results y is hidden because it's a string and it's just an auxiliary variable we are not interested in it and then we can plot the resulting variable set which is the interesting one for us so as you can see this is actually very very cool and very useful so we can even improve it we could go to the block I have this line commented here if I remove it over here in the function that replaces a given text or a given pattern we can add another parameter like this we save we remove this old block just in case we just drag and drop the same one again and then if you double click you can see that now we can define not only the user equation but also the string or the text that we can, we want to replace. So for example, we can use the exponential function. And then simulate again. So you can see that at time zero, we are at the value of 2.0. 71 and then you can see how the value goes closer and closer to zero this feature which was a little bit hidden i find extremely useful because sometimes you don't want the users to come to the code and uh, change it all the time or if you are writing your own library um, you need to have different equations for whichever reason so this feature uh, to me it's extremely useful so thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos